Honestly, I really want to get this thing back over to the studio side. The new studio is just so massive. I'm not really sure how I'm going to move it yet. Don't do this ever. This is the dumbest. Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex over at Laser Everything, and today we have a little cleanup project to do. We're coming out of the office, and if you take a look at this, we just made like a really big mess. We're in the new studio, getting it set up, and uh, take a look at this. I've got like just all this stuff sitting all, all over the floor. It's like different chargers and adapters and wires and cables, and it's just not, it's just not working for me, especially this shelf. This is all just like camera equipment and electronics. And I'm out of space to put it where it needs to go. So today we are going to cut some boxes. Kyle and Matt have been having all the box cutting fun and I wanna get in on it too. I haven't even gotten to use this website that they've been using for their box generation. So today we're gonna to try that out. That's our material right back there, which I believe is like flooring wood. So we're gonna be cutting it out of that. But first we need to go over and check out the state of the Mira 9. Uh, she's got a little bit of dust on her, but we're gonna be dusting it off today and getting it ready to go. So I'm gonna be checking water levels, just make sure the mirrors look good. And then we'll go ahead and get started with the project. This place has been an absolute disaster since we <laughs> tore apart the old studio to get ready for LBX. But luckily for us, the Mira 9 is basically an all-in-one unit. We have our chiller built in and uh, our exhaust is very quick and easy to set up. So we're going to just jam through that really quick and try to get this thing online and operational so we can use it to cut our boxes. All right, cleared off guys, but we do have a little bit of a dust problem, so no worries. A little bit of glass cleaner and a microfiber cloth and we'll have this beautiful machine cleaned up in just a second. There we go guys, nice and clean. And now we just need to make sure that it has all its essential components uh, ready to go and we'll be cutting. Honestly, I really wanna get this thing back over to the studio side. The new studio is just so massive. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna move it yet. We've talked about getting casters for the table that it's on, uh, but I don't know how I'm gonna get the casters onto the table without getting it off of the table first. It's a whole thing, but eventually, it will be over here in the new studio and we'll be able to play with it more often. I think our little ranger friend over there needs some company. Now, there's a couple things that we're gonna have to check on this machine before we start using it. And this is pretty basic, so if you already know this, sorry, but we need to make sure that we absolutely positively have exhaust set up. And as you can see here, we don't have one right now. Uh, luckily, we do have our exhaust system in place in the warehouse still. And I think that this line right here is going to reach over. So we're gonna to try to hook that one up. Second thing we need to do is check our water levels on our chiller. Conveniently on the Mira 9, the chiller is actually built in and we can see our water levels right here. It's been a minute since I've run this, but it looks okay. It's not like funky and green or anything like that. Uh, I do put a cap full of bleach in my water when I fill machines like these up and that looks nice and clean. I'm not particularly concerned. We'll take another look after we've run it for a minute, but I haven't disconnected the tube on this or anything. So we should have water throughout the entire system still. And uh, just glancing at it here, I think we are in pretty good shape. Uh, and that reminds me one more thing. We are gonna be doing anything with this machine without some power hooked up to it. Uh, we've got our outlet right here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and run the standard power cord right into the outlet, make sure that we have power. Right here on the back corner of the machine, we've got our 110 volt input, so we'll just go ahead and make sure that's nice and secure in there. 
And we actually aren't using this plug at all. So we can go ahead and pull that and plug our machine directly into the wall. Okay, let's see if it starts. I think it will, we should be good. That's what I like to hear. We're gonna let this run for just a second guys and then we'll go ahead and check our water levels in the back. Make sure we don't have any bubbles and uh, we're getting good circulation and we're still in the safe zone as far as our water fill gauge is concerned. Our homing sequence did complete here and uh, one of the things we're going to want to check is just to make sure that our mirrors didn't get all super disgusting in the time we haven't been using this machine. And uh, that's pretty easy to take a look at here so if we just open this up and I can actually go ahead and zoom which is helping me as much as it is to help you guys and we can take a look at that mirror and that looks really clean uh, that's actually super nice looking so I think that we are good to go on that one we'll also check mirror one in the back left corner back there uh, in just a moment we're looking for any bubbles or any kind of stoppages and I'm not seeing anything this all looks crystal clear and the last thing we're going to check down here is our water level as expected it did drop just a tiny little bit but we're still well into the uh, normal range if we were closer to the alarm I'd probably top it off but for the sake of time right now that looks great last but not least guys remember we have to hook up our exhaust hopefully it's going to reach behind here let's find out well, that is not great. Uh, so we're gonna have to move the mirror, I think, probably like five feet or so forward, maybe a little less. Just try to do that without killing ourselves. Don't do this ever. This is the dumbest. So not necessarily ideal, but uh, I think we're close enough here that I will just be able to get that over where we need it to go. So I'm just gonna grab the drill and tighten up the collar here, and then we can actually get started. With the exhaust set up, guys, all we have left to do before we can actually get started on this project is cut down the piece of wood that's going to be going in the mirror. It's way too big to fit in one solid piece. So we're going to take a couple measurements and see how we need to cut it up in order to fit it in. That's really important because if our box is based on the overall dimensions of the board, we might end up with cuts right in the middle of a section that's actually going to get cut down in order to fit into the machine. So we're going to go take some measurements and get this board cut down. Right after that, we will jump into software and start designing our little organizer bins. All right, so in order to proceed with this project, we need to make sure that we cut our board into 35 inch pieces. That'll make sure that it fits within the 900 millimeters of the bed. As far as depth goes, we have 23 and a half inches to work with, and this is just a little bit over, so it should be a perfect fit. So I'm not gonna mess with that at all, but we do need to chop it up lengthwise into multiple pieces so that we can make sure that everything fits. I've just got a regular ballpoint pen. I'm gonna mark it off. We're gonna take it over to the laser and just do a quick cut. It's gonna be super simple. So we're gonna get two 35 by 23 and a half inch pieces out of this board. And I think that should be more than enough for the bins that we're trying to make. It definitely wasn't the most scientific of measurements, but it just needs to be rough so that we can make sure we can get the pieces into the machine. So we had a really good plan, but I forgot about this machine's fatal flaw, which is it doesn't have pass through. Our first mark from the edge of the board literally falls right here, and there's no way we're gonna be able to get that under the laser head. So we're gonna have to improvise in order to get this cut down.
like I said, guys, it doesn't need to be that accurate. And uh, I'm not particularly concerned about this edge because we're going to be cutting shapes out of it. We're not actually using any of this edge. So uh, this should be perfect. I'm just going to do it one more time for the little bit of overhang on the other piece. So there's piece number one and piece number two. And you can see piece number two is a little bit shorter than piece number one. I didn't do a good job staying on the marks with the razor, but we got it cut down. And now we can actually go see what we'll be able to fit onto these pieces of ply. So uh, we're finally done with our prep and we are ready to go sit down, generate a file, and then take it into Lightburn. And this episode is running a little bit long, so that's where we're gonna end this one, guys. Next time, we're gonna get the file set up in Lightburn. We're going to cut it and assemble it. So if you're interested in seeing how this project turns out and you want to follow along, then next episode is gonna be great for you. I should have it out in just a couple days. I'm gonna start editing it right now. If you got value out of this one, don't forget to smash the like button. Let everybody else know that the content is good. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified when the follow-up comes out. If you love the channel and you want to help support it, check out the Laser Master Academy. It's the number one way to support the channel. You get a bunch of goodies like bonus episodes and bonus podcasts live streams and an awesome community that's there to help you when you need it if that sounds like a little much you can find out all about how you can support us in other ways at lasereverything.net slash support i think that's all i've got for this one guys i'm really excited to show you how this project came out when i was finally able to sit down and actually get it finished so until then take care of yourselves and i will see you in the next one